Hello Scorpio, welcome to your new love read. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle. Scorpio, Scorpio Sun and Rising. Let's see who is coming through for my Scorpio singles out there. Of course my curious Scorpios are always welcome here on the channel. Let's see who is coming through for Scorpio. Scorpio's next love, next lover, next romantic relationship or partnership. For the months of uh, what's left of February here and March and April 2024. Play with time of course, this could be someone you've already met. Can be a cross watchers read as well, so keep that in mind. But Scorpio, let's see who's coming through for you. Scorpio's next lover, please show me Scorpio's next lover. Scorpio's next lover, please, please show me Scorpio's next lover. Who will be Scorpio's next love, love interest? Please show me Scorpio's next lover. What can you tell me about Scorpio's next lover, please, Spirit? What can I pass on to my Scorpio? Let's get some tarot down as well. I want to see what kind of energy you'll be in when this person comes into your life, Scorpio. Take both of those. And uh, what kind of energy will they be in when, okay, they come into your life and the potential outcome between the two of you. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you guys. Oh, we've got the star. Could be Aquarius, but more than the sign here, I'm picking up that this person is uh, on a uh, upward path of success. They seem to be climbing the ladder of success. I do feel that this person is a unique individual, someone who tends to shine when they're being authentic, uh, true to themselves. I do get that this person may even be a star in their field of study or what they, what they do for a living. Uh, they could even be a healer in some capacity. They're very strong. Um, strong health, healthy, strong individual. And we also have uh, Leo here as well. Uh, this this is somebody who could be counted on. I get them as very much someone who uh, is well respected, regarded. And with the Hierophant they tend to be quite a traditionalist, um, somewhat rigid in their thinking. Uh, a little bit set in their ways I would say. Uh, this person does tend to like to uh, to read. I do feel like they uh, they have a vast knowledge, general knowledge. Uh, they like to uh, to learn every day something. Uh, they may read a, like books very very quickly. I get that. Or they watch a lot of documentaries. Uh, this person tends to uh, I get war documentaries in particular could be World War II, I'm, I'm not really sure, but what I'm seeing here is, is, is somebody here who's learning about uh, military history as well, or has a vast knowledge of military history. And I also get that this, this person tends to be somebody who is, is, when it comes to how they view the world, what they think, it's based on knowledge. It's, it's based on knowledge that comes from uh, books, to TV, maybe even the, the internet. Uh, not so much on like social media or what's just passed on from opinion. It's more about fact. Fact. They, they like to look at fact over fiction. Uh, factual books in particular. Factual magazines. Okay. A little bit dry on the energy, I can't lie, but let's have a look here, Scorpio. What kind of energy will you be in? Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords. Oh gosh, okay. So I see you as being um, somewhat uh, exhausted, really, uh, when this person comes into your life. You've got a lot on your plate. You, you're doing a lot of um, uh, chores around the house. Uh, you're getting a lot of things prepared. Uh, for the, the next season. Uh, some of you are a seasonal worker. 
Um, you'd like to be able to rest, but uh, you can't seem to find the time. When you do, you're just kind of knocked out. You, you don't really have time for reading books and that kind of thing. Uh, you might be suffering from a little bit of exhaustion, maybe even some um, sense of uh, anxiety around uh, uh, around the need to get things done quickly. But Spirit is saying you, you kind of need a rest here, uh, Scorpio, you do. Uh, all right, you've been putting in a lot of hours. The energy that they'll be coming in is uh, with a helping hand, the Six of, of Pentacles. Uh, this person is coming in when, when you when you least expect it because you, I see you being quite tired here and you're not really looking for love. In they come with offers of help, which I think you're going to be very grateful for. Uh, this person does seem to be giving. Uh, generously of their time, a uh, very supportive person. So if they see you as someone that needs help, they're going to come in and give that support to you here, Scorpio. And the outcome is the Knight of Swords. Yeah. Again, I get uh, something to do with books. Uh, you could be uh, burning the candle at both ends. You might have a, a job during the day and, and be going to uh, learning something at, at night here. Uh, going back to school, um, you might be trying to do both at the same time. Uh, yeah, gosh. You may have a side hustle as well that, that you're working. So, boy, oh boy, you've got a lot going on here. Uh, Scorpio, you're hitting the books. You're hitting the books. You're chasing the dream. You 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 are ambitious. You, you want to do more be more and this person appears to um, want to help you in that regard uh, this person may be a teacher or they, they may be someone who is um, has that kind of mental role in your life um, but uh, since this is a love reading I do feel that this person also has um, a desire for you as well so uh, there is this dryness this uh, maybe mentor student kind of energy but I do feel that there is an underlying undercurrent of love of I mean, well is it love I mean it's attraction certainly and at least at this stage now what else do you need to know here Scorpio what does Scorpio need to know about their next lover Okay. This could be single, single parent, or you could be a single parent here. I get someone could be a mother um, trying to, you know, hit the books, trying to to work at the same time, and this person is coming in with help, assistance. So they're a very intense person, very passionate about what they do. It's going to be a meeting in an unexpected manner, uh, maybe even a little bit um, taboo uh, for some of my Scorpios out there as well. And this is a karmic soulmate. soulmate. You're meant to learn a specific lesson in connection with this relationship, with this person. So Scorpio, let's get the personality characteristics personality characteristics please and sorry for the dog barking next door guys gosh that thing I mean it's a beautiful dog but uh, boy you know, anytime someone goes by it's uh, off it goes again all right Scorpio what can you tell Scorpio about their next lover this hierophant okay Sp spirit is asking you to observe um, seek out the truth and uh, use your powers of your observation and intuition um, because there, there could be something where this person is either falsifying information um, which to me feels like lying <laughs> I mean straight up so yeah peek behind the curtain put on your de detective hat and, uh, and seek out information about this this person, their, their history. Sorry about that guys, I'm, I'm here, I'm not in my regular place. I'm, 
I'm actually moving around quite a bit. I'm at my mother's house at the moment and gosh, the phone's ringing, there's dogs next door, there's blooming grass cutters, there's buses going by. So I do apologize, guys. I mean, seriously, I, I can't do anything about the, the noise. The, the birds are beautiful, but also very noisy. So uh, let's see, what else um, do you need to know about this person's personality, this hierophant? Okay, I'll take all three of those. Okay. I do get this energy of this karmic soulmate coming in very strongly. Um, now, hmm. it's um, okay. The Hierophant with this monk nun energy. Now, I'm not saying that they're a religious person, uh, like a, any kind of higher up hierarchy in the in religion, but they they could be, but. I feel that this person is quite religious. Um, they have a very, they're very dedicated to to spirit. Now, this child, this orphan child energy. Now, I I do feel that somebody has a child here. Um, they may be looking to. If you, if you do, if you are a single mother, they, this person may be interested in um, adopting or becoming like a, a father figure uh, or a mother figure in this child's life. I feel that this person has uh, been alone. They may be an orphan. They may have been adopted or fo in the foster homes when they were younger. Uh, they may have had to be independent quite early on. Uh, they had to, to learn as they go, uh, they're a survivor, and uh, and there's this energy of, um, I'm getting like born again Christian, or, or, or born again mysticism, um, now mysticism, what does that mean? I, I just feel like it's a, it's a connection with spirit, whatever, however that will resonate with, with your person here, a strong connection with spirit that they've had since they were a youth. They, they're a survivor, they're very, very strong. They've had to, um, they've had, they've basically abandoned, I feel, in, in youth. And so they've had to fight. They've had to learn to fight. Uh, and they've gotten themselves to a point where they um, seem to be doing quite well in their, in their chosen field. But they are, Yeah, they, they may be attracted to you, not just because of you, but also because of this child. Now, for some of you, you could be that abandoned child you know, where, you, where you've had to, to work hard, you, you've had to go it alone for a long period of time. Um, and, and you're exhausted by it, you know. It, 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 and for some of you, yes, you are also a single mother, so you've had to, to look after that. A child as well and this person is coming in with this offer of help okay do your due diligence with this person don't get carried away uh, let's have a look at the physical characteristics of this person Scorpio some of this could be you some of it could be them sometimes it gets a little jumbled but what does this hierophant look like Okay, they may have hazel or light brown eyes, uh, animated eyes, so very, um, you can tell what this person is thinking and feeling by the, the look on their face. Uh, they may be, uh, they may be dark complected on the, when it comes to their race. Uh, we've got a man here. Spirituality, again, they get very strong spirituality connection with the uh, spiritual world. Yeah, dark skin, guys, dark skin. Uh, they may have uh, moles or freckles. And um, 
and someone here is blonde as well. Now, of course, that's not to say you can't be dark complected and have blonde hair because that, that happens quite a bit. Um, but it could be that one, yes, you know, this is mixed energy. One of you is dark complected, the other is, is quite quite fair with, with blonde hair. And coming out with exaggerated features again. All right, let's see. What else do you need to know here? I feel it's mainly the eyes that are exaggerated. What else does Scorpio need to know about this person? They may have called you the other night or reached out. Uh, someone has blue eyes, this blonde hair, blue-eyed energy. They may wear a meaningful accessory quite often. Uh, they may sing or sing in the shower. And they may speak more than one language fluently. And they've been in your presence at least once in the last six months. What's hiding down here? And they may have an unusual hair feature. So it could be that they have blonde, blonde hair but are darker complected. Okay, well they look, they're striking and I feel that I, I did get that um, very striking kind of energy around this, uh, this person. Uh, when they come into you. Now, <clears throat> what else do you need to know about them? Now, interestingly enough, guys, uh, in the Libra reading, I did get a very strong Scorpio presence, so you may want to go back and check out the Libra reading for messages that may be there for you. Okay, we've got... Um, Yeah, I don't like the term sugar daddy. It sounds pretty awful. It's pretty old fashioned. But I do get that this person could be like a mentor or they're coming in with help when you need it. Possibly around school or a, a child schooling. Um, there is a, a finite energy to this. I get like. Um, um, something karmic that's going to be learned. I'm not going to go down that road here because this is just meant to be a new love reading, but you know, stay tuned for the Scorpio readings for messages there. And survival. To, it, well, I'll read you the quote. It says, to ensure survival, the prey must become the hunter. So you may be the a, a bit of more of the aggressor here, the person that uh, that comes on to this person that uh, that that wants them. You may be doing your due diligence here, finding out about this person, and then going for them. I get that. I get it coming from you that you that you really do want this person, and I feel that they're going to come in with this offer of help, assistance uh, towards you. Somebody's quite religious. There does seem to be a child. And now, for some of you, you could be that, that, that wounded child here who was abandoned, or perhaps you even had to give up a child in, in, in your younger years. And gosh, guys, I give you a big, um, uh, a big uh, uh, heavenly support there from, uh, from anyone who's lost a child. Um, I hope that that's not the case. Uh, some of you, though, you had, you may have had to release a, a child in any way that that comes across uh, for you in the past. It is past energy, guys. It's not something that's happening soon or in the future. That's way in the past. So if that's not you, it's not. It's not meant for you. But Scorpio, I feel like um, you've learned a lot from that. Uh, I feel like you, you've grown. You're a survivor. You've learned how to survive. Um, spirituality or religion is certainly a big part of that survival in your life. It's gotten you through some tough times, but now I feel like you need more financial or uh, um, practical support in your life, and this person is coming through as that for you, and it's something that you've been wanting, and something that you're um, that you're putting in the hard work towards. But it it, it does also feel like it's it's. You've, you've got this going on, you've got uh, a number of other things happening in your life that, that feels quite uh, 
exhausting is really the only word that I'm getting. Now, one more card here for my Scorpios, please. One more card for my Scorpios. Yeah. Spirit is, is, is asking you to lighten your load. Um, I feel that there's something that's, although you seem to be seeking out um, this person, there's something to be gained from this. Freedom from worries, freedom from financial struggle. Okay. So for some of you that may resonate. You, you, you might be, you might be putting effort into this to free yourself from a financial struggle that, that you've had for a number of years and this person is, is helping you in some way. So Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there and wish you all the very best. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store and the link for that is in the box below. Uh, thank you for all of your likes, your shares, your subscribes. Please continue to do so. Thank you so much and take care Scorpio.